Good morning. Or whatever it is, wherever you are. <clears throat> but the game finally started up. Uh, Alright, so we'll need... And I'll probably need live game. <clears throat> now, I want to do some timing stuff, which means I'm going to want to have the drop pod working. Drop pod server mod, so we have to have a server mod. I'm going to be editing the front end. We're kind of going to need to have two copies of... Hey, Quitch. Yeah. Did not, well, it was getting to be time. I did not want to wait until after the oral surgery, and the surgeon will probably appreciate having less stuff in the way, too. We have to have something there. We have to have... Yeah, I got a bad tooth. It's cracked. They don't seem to think there's much to be done about that. Wow, that must be a, a lot of Git history. Uh, uh, that was way too many files. You know, I cancel it, so I can't undo it. Uh, that was a copy, right? I thought maybe I just grabbed too much stuff. Yeah, that was a copy. I don't know. And that one's been troublesome for years. It's like once a month something would get it, and the rest of the time it was fine. Uh, Dennis, I mean, I mentioned that to the dentist a couple times, and they didn't, didn't really do anything. Finally did a filling there, and then he said it was, like, fractured and do a lot of drilling. Yes, that's supposed to be a git history. Then. Uh, so it was pressure sensitive for a while, and they said, you know, we don't care unless it's temperature sensitive or it is keeping you up at night. Oh, what do I actually need to move around here? Oh, I've got a node modules for the <laughs> run. Uh, did I actually have stuff to deal with this? Uh, but then a while ago, it actually did start to become temperature sensitive. <clears throat> uh, it was it was a couple of weeks leading up to my regular appointment, so I just left it till that. Process unit files, mod. Yeah, this is another one that has copy back. So he scheduled, he uh, did the referral to endodontist for examination. Uh, like, it, you know, it, you know, it'd been months, it'd been weeks. I, I didn't do that right away. A week later, I actually did schedule that. And then I can, another, oh, another week until I got in to see them. And like during that week, it went into full like nuclear to toothache. Uh, so they confirmed that that tooth was bad and the other tooth is bad, but not urgent. Uh, it was right before Thanksgiving. I managed to find get an appointment like before actual Thanksgiving, so I'd have to wait two weeks with an incredibly painful tooth and not being able to sleep. Uh, and that was fine for about a week. Uh, and I don't know if it was something I ate or just something else. Uh, it started hurting again. Uh, they gave me a, like a pain med and antibiotic. You know, that ran about a week. Uh, kind of left it for a few more days to see, you know, was it 
what was going on. It was it was still like bite sensitive. So I got to see the endodontist again, and they're like, "Yeah, it's cracked. Uh, you should have you should have the crown put on to stabilize it." That's you. Know. I have a copy thing. Oh yeah, I do have a copy back. Copy mod. Let's see some. Yeah, and then my regular dentist is like, you know, that might not last. Uh, it might even break during the crown installation procedure. You should just have the tooth removed. So now I got recommended to an oral surgeon who was backed up because all the college kids were back during the holiday. Uh, so wait another month of chewing on one side of my mouth. Uh, and it wasn't as long of a delay to get the actual surgery appointment, but... Okay, that's the modified that. I did have a copy back for something. Jason Lint, Jason Schema. That's the drop pod. Just the mod. Well, maybe I should have called them up when it got really painful. It's like, well, it's in a couple of days. And if they didn't have an appointment before, are they going to have an appointment now? Well, maybe, they, maybe they keep some spots open for emergencies. Okay, so that is client file. Uh, again, path. So maybe that was where I put this path in, put stuff over there. Uh, we do the mod to server, then we switch it over. We do a mod to client, and then copy files back for source control. Uh, so I've opened this file. So if we take you, Put you back in a server mod dev. Uh, default is process the unit and which is processed in pretty much at copy mod. Okay, and I'm probably still have to go tweak some mod infos here. Okay, uh, so yeah, so there's you. Yep, no, wrong one. Community mods doesn't like developers, so we have to go hack stuff. Oh, no, she does do local. Okay. I did put something in there for that. Uh, but you probably don't do client. Yeah, okay. Weird. Doing that, then. Oh, okay. Or is it... Putting the path in as the ID. You see, this is also local, so that's not going to work. And uh, is this a full copy? Okay, well, that's not really going to hurt anything, having it in the client. Uh, we're probably Actually, what I probably have to do is remove the client files from this server export. Make sure we don't have any problems there. All 
All right, so that will give us the drop pod effect, and we should be able to get client files from there. Well, I've done a few things, but Marshall kept playing around with pause for the trailer. And I don't even know if he went back and used the unit queuing thing, just because he'd spent too much time on it, I'm guessing. Uh... Uh, oh, and I've, well, I still want the local one, really. So, we've got local file. Huh. I remember I selected dot .local. Uh, that is the published one, and this is the client files. I want to verify. Yes, this was the dev stuff. Pick something. Uh, well, maybe that should be gone from the regular one. I want to verify this code is running. Oh, I don't actually need dotation panel here. I mean, I guess I do some queuing stuff, but. Uh, um, this might only be when we activate Puppet Master? Oh no, actually, it's not active at all. Because this isn't, didn't turn on. And oh no, I didn't change the change the mod type. Uh maybe there was a conflict there? Doesn't load anything. Uh, no, because I removed the yeah, I removed the client files from server, so it must have been using that local server. There we go.
Okay. Uh, so right now. If we were to pause the game. I guess we have to unpause for it to appear, but yeah, that's all out of sync. Nice for queuing stuff up, but not nice for effects. Uh, oh, and yeah, we are running the local file, which I guess we sort of approved before. All right, so I think there's a handler here. The handler. Oh, was I actually using the main model's server time? Live game. Uh, set timeout. It's model. Yeah, I'm using. A, I, I removed my handler entirely. So that was a recent change. I'd be able to go back and look at what I removed, or just look it up from scratch. That's a head handler there already. Base game sim speed tracking. Uh, all right, we have previous time. So handlers dot time. Uh, let's see, so this is two. Wait, we do the paste units 3D. Oh, the pod is right away. Yeah, because that just gets scheduled immediately. And then the other units go at delay. Ping, it wants to be shortly before that. All right, uh, we had this around, ah, doesn't like that, okay. Around here. That was some speed tracking. So this is going to be uh, sim time event queue. Uh, let's see, now is a date time. Previous UI time, previous sim time. I don't think I need previous sim time. Well, no, I do need to know, like, the current sim time. Uh, that might be a model thing. Already get. Sim speed multiplier. Uh, server rate. Okay, it doesn't have an obvious name if it is. <laughs> Live game, live game. Handlers dot time. Server rate. Ah, it might be, well, end of time is not a model variable. Just that one isn't. And fab mode and command mode.
payload.endTime, payload.currentTime. Uh, oh, end time versus current time is going to be. Okay, so it keeps an end of time, but it's not a model variable that we get access to by default. Uh, and we were using end time as that. Probably end time is reasonable for playing delayed events. We don't need samples. We're going to need a queue at some point. Okay, bootstrap into there. We don't need the sim step. Need to know that. Uh, if sim step, right, if it, if it was paused, don't do the calculation. Well, the pause still threw it off. UI time, samples. That's for the averaging. All right, so this tracks time. This is a, an event that will happen when time is changing as well. Since all of the events we're scheduling, well, no, I, I do a 4,000 and a 5,000, so they're not necessarily going to be a you just push it on the queue and they're in order. Actually, all we really care about is, you know, what is like the current time? We don't need to know about the difference as much. So we're going to have to have a, you know, so it was set timeout. We do this as a, a kind of a drop-in replacement. <clears throat> the set timeout takes the, uh, well, doing a drop-in replacement is actually going to be a little bit of, a little bit of juggling. Because we have a timeout, we have a function, and then we have the rest of the arguments, which is not actually something I do that often. There are probably some standard patterns for that. Uh, variable argument. Uh, Uh, yeah, that, I don't know that we support that. Yeah, I thought that there were some... That makes a copy of it. I'm 
and cats. Uh, so the, the copy would allow me to do shifting. Also, this the slice call. Uh, I might as well specify something there. Indeed. All right, so args is going to be, now we have to do this whole array dot prototype dot slice. Oh, but your call with arguments. Right, and then that is call with a, this argu argument of arguments. And we have two known arguments. <clears throat> Uh, and then an event item. Hmm. Probably I want to do the extra work on insert. <clears throat> so that as we check on every time event, we only have to look at the first entry. <clears throat> uh, so we're going to schedule you for... <clears throat> Oh, here's something I need to know. Uh, what does a sim time look like? That looks like Number of seconds with a fraction. And it, if I scroll point five five nine nine point seven point nine. So it's not great resolution. Also, I'm getting multiple copies of the same time. That's a little bit annoying. All right, I should probably shut this off just so we don't backlog things too much. Uh, it's actually a little bit disturbing from the self-calculation perspective. So, um, I might, in fact, want a, a previous sim time check. Because <laughs> it seems like that happens an awful lot. Or, oh, is that, well, okay, it, th this will actually cut out some copies. Maybe current time is changing more often? And like it only extends end time in, in chunks? View zero. Oh, maybe it's each holodeck. Oh, no, it's all view, all view zero. End time, current time. Okay, yes, end time extends in slightly distinct chunks from current time. So we will get, well, we, should, we still get doubles. Oh, and now I'm not getting the 
multiples of each end time. But still those familiar patterns. That we're getting about that many updates. Okay. <clears throat> so that is in seconds. Uh, timeout is in milliseconds. So we want to do, we believe our current time is, all right, then we need to, It's any kind of an insertion sort. We need to find the index where we want to put it. And I think it's going to be like a splice operation. Uh, remove item, add to front. Start, delete count, that would be zero. Add and or remove elements to an array. So we have to find out where we want to put it if there's multiple items. Uh, let's see, when we are, want to skip over, uh, oh, actually we need to have, oh no, we, we can insert, um, we don't necessarily have an endpoint. So we definitely need to be that at that scope. Uh, if you're time. So if that is an earlier event, we want to keep going. If it's a later event, Oh, I've normally been trying to kind of do comparisons in the other way. So if this is before that time, it should be a sorted queue. Then we break out of the loop. If we don't find that, then I should just be length. Uh, start element. So if that is zero, uh, how does that work? Do I need to do that or plus one? If I say splice uh, at zero, delete zero, insert zero. Right, it's object modification. Okay, so it also returns it though. Oh no, it might return what it deleted. So I actually have to say x equals one, two, three. And then x, so that inserts it before. 
for that position. Uh, and that's a three element array. Well, reset it now. So if I insert it there, then it does go at the end. Uh, well, no, that was three. It will stop when I is not less than length. This might be a thing that we want to... Before the... Event Q, copy it just to make sure. I think sometimes it shows mutable objects. And we picked index blah after we have that. Uh, and this is slice actually. And actually, this is with the with zero arguments is okay. So we think that if it's the first entry, we'll go before it. We want to delete zero and insert time t and function and args. All right, so update sim time. Uh, I think I might actually want to. Uh, so we have executing the queue and we have checking the queue. Probably we just want to. Do that. This could almost be a while, but... Because we need to be looking at the index, and we need to be looking at the time. You are just an internal iterator. So if if entry dot time uh, if current time now is less than uh, yeah if time has gotten past. The event is before our current time. I guess we'd even say equals. I don't know how often that'll happen. Then we need to uh it has to be an apply. Uh is it apply or call? I know what the two of them are, I just don't remember which is which. So array of args or arg arg arg. 
Uh, Slice dot call. Arg, arg, arg. Okay, that's right. Not apply. Um, entry dot args. And uh, this modifies it every time. All right, I might actually have to do some different men. We have to control when we... Because we're modifying the queue as we go. All right, so we've already pulled the entry out. There's a splice to remove an arbitrary item. Well, no. Because, no, why am I even iterating? Well, I do have to keep going if we activate one. We don't have to examine, it, examine the entire thing. Uh, while event q dot length greater than zero and event q zero dot time less than or equal to t. Yeah, I'm having to do what will be some tight uh, management here. Well, we've already checked time at this point, so. We do have to reference two things. And we probably want to grab it and uh, your zero. Uh, actually, no, this is going to be just event Q dot. Push and pop is the end. Shift and unshift. I think shift is off. Thank you for the follow. Oh, yeah, this is JavaScript. Uh, this is it's it's in coherent UI, which I think there's been some updates to it, but I still kind of stick to the. Well, I, I tend to always stick to the older compatible subset. Uh, although I, I used fetch in something, and I know somebody reported it wasn't working on uh, iOS Safari. I don't know if that was it or if it was just all the memory I was using. Anyway, yeah, this is clear embedded coherent UI, so it's I've always assume the older compatibility. Oh, you know what? This function call has to assume sim time. So, there was not much point in pretending it's an argument here. Except maybe for testing purposes. Uh, all right, now I don't have any debugging around this. I guess I'm a little more worried about the splice, and we'll just see the events coming off if that's the case. Uh, maybe we could just say... Execute entry at sim time. All right, uh, and then we go and do set timeout. So that's a UI time thing. That should be more of a UI time thing. Just user, so this is the one 
that we want to try and schedule in sim time. And now we get, now we get all the syntax errors. That's just the engine not liking the things resetting. All right, so the time loop uh, does not seem to be having any issues itself. Okay, the queue is not being executed. So before, uh, we found entry zero, it was empty. After, we have an entry with an args. Uh, time nan, yeah, time nan is not gonna go over so well. <laughs> Uh, so is that a sim time issue? Oh, something's a function. Oh, I'm, maybe I got my argument order wrong. <clears throat> uh, oh, no, it is function timeout. Okay. Right, it was function, the timeout argument, and then the other arguments. Oopsie. Okay. Now, uh, the other obvious test is if we do that in pause, we get the announcement. That plays immediately. All right, how about multiples? That seemed to go pretty well. Uh, and then we've got Marshall was doing. Well, that was, I mean, other than swapping the arguments, that was remarkably smooth. <laughs> Rid of our spam here.
Uh, and we work. It works with groups, right? Yep. Uh, and then it works. Oops. That modifies the keys a little bit. I mean, that was kind of a, a separate thing from before, but seems to be okay with any of that. Okay, uh, ba -da -ba 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 -ba. what do we got? We had, in theory, we have... All right, so I swapped that path. I don't know if we want to commit that. Uh, oh, all right, I was editing this. Server mod dev. Okay, I had that. I got I got dot local because I had modified that. Uh, in this file. This is our master copy. Uh, I had modified that. I don't really need modified in either place. And really, I probably don't need I guess it's kind of an unusual mod, but... Probably don't need that at all. Oh, I don't need to do rate adjustment when we're in... Uh, In time. Uh, set timeout sim. If anything, you would put a simpler version in as this function something that would do this little adjustment to go back. That would that would that would kind of get you double difference if you did change sim speed. All right. I don't remember. There's... I have to be running... Well, the stuff's around, the stuff's around a local server anyway. I don't know if the keys got enabled. General dev mode. Oh, they're not there. The keys are there. They used this used to not be available unless you like ran, manually ran your own server. Gosh, do I have... What do I have available? Uh, is that... Roll all... Oh, did something make this not scroll? Let me trust my other color monitor. 
Oh, yep. Something changed in the CSS and it doesn't scroll anymore. Well, there's another mod I have to fix. Uh... To imply that other pages might. Eh, that scrolls. I just have to be explicit about it, I guess. Uh, unfortunately, I think I've also got like reduced UI on or something. Guys. Which actually kind of makes it worse. That's what this was designed for. Page up, page down. Oh, wait. You're equal? Escape? Mm. Yeah, that seems weird. Oh, wait. Okay, that's doing something else. <laughs> uh, so we can't use page up apparently. these bound to anything. This only goes in 0.5 increments, but I only need a, I only really need a half increment to test things. Okay, the sound effect is on its own schedule. That's just the file. Oh. So the ping scheduled okay. Now is that because we were doing setting change stuff? Maybe there's a there's an issue there. Or some kind of Sandbox reload. No. Is that a sim speed issue or is that something else? Or did I accidentally delete one too many lines? Oh, that's something else.
And I've long passed the point where, uh, so I can actually get, I've not committed this yet. Got the arguments. I'm out. Hey, Grumtep. <laughs> yeah, we're done in the code, and now I've apparently stumbled on a really w awkward bug. All right, so where are we failing here? I mean, clearly something got scheduled. I'm wondering if this is... Actually, am I going to get any print out here? No, uh, are we trying? Well, that's actually, uh, that's actually a function in a different mod. So I don't have an easy way to hook into it. Actually, you are effectively a paste. Hmm. Uh, well, I don't have my entry yet. I guess we say, what was the event queue when we scheduled this? Which will have all the information about it. And then... Execute... Entry, and I guess we want to see what the... That queue looked like afterwards. Uh, and at this sim time. It started out really good. Twenty-eight oh five, twenty-eight oh six. Oh yeah, actually, that that might be a reasonable number of seconds for how long we've been sitting here. Oh, this I did not do the slice thing on. So we're getting. It's it's executing the changes afterwards, so we're, we're getting like a live view into the object, which I don't want in this case. I want to know what it was at that time. All right, so we scheduled you for twenty eight six two. We scheduled another thing for 2863. We executed that, we executed that. I wonder if the settings messed something up. Should be its own little adventure. Oop, nope, not that one. Jesus, 
No, that is not a settings thing. Now, I don't see how it could be a GUI zoom thing. Unless I had done something weird to compensate for that. Like somehow hard coded it. Yeah, so here we go. It or it worked right off the bat. And then we we accidentally changed the wrong line and now we're in the we have no idea what's happening hell space. And Gearx, thank you for the follow. Glad you like watching me bang my head against the wall. Uh, and this is too rare. It's such a rare bug. I have never tried to figure out why that particular thing happens now. Something about the first time. Hmm, that didn't even ping. All right, let's uh, try to do a quick check here. See if it's that function or if something else is broken on us. And we're gonna need a fact, and that's technically a paste. Oh no, this is something something fundamental here. Because that has nothing to do with the new timing code, per se. Hmm. Well, let's eliminate all the code we're touching.
Cheese start point. Okay. There's nothing fundamentally wrong with placing a unit. But we've broken something in actually calling that function. So we need... That one for the drop pod, and that one for the UI. Guess I should make sure my copy things didn't do something weird. All right, so this is server mod dev. We have client mods. You've got UI files. Server mods. Uh, have. Wait, wait, no, that's Baboo. Have no UI files that shouldn't be able to conflict with us. All right, so this is, I'm no longer diffing the code that I'm running. Uh, but I was getting ready to commit some stuff. Uh, live game. I'm done with you. Your server mod dev. I want to pull from here. Wait. Did I do the copy? I thought that was dot local. No, oh, okay. That was baboom dot local puppet map. Okay. <clears throat> so if I do that, copy our UI files back, then I can diff. Look, print out. <laughs> I took server right out. Oh, I took an N out. The arguments are off. I'm a little too crazy with the delete. Right, that was one pod. That's N. Contents, location. That'll do it. And this all happened. Okay, well, that's not it. Not entirely it, anyway. Yeah, now, Arg is array, too. I'm, is this dev? No, client.
Maybe I put it in the wrong... No, we're still getting args too. Why are we getting args too? Maybe I misunderstood slice? That's a copy. That removes one element. That removes two elements. Uh, also, let's, uh, oh. Why is this not a syntax error? Because this is another one of the promises that swallows errors. Now that we fixed our other mistake, And we were trying to check out how pastes worked when the sim time was slow. Hello, Alex Cat. How's it going? And that seems fine. I guess we can technically check the other way. Also seems fine. And that would have never worked before. We could, well, we would have seen a sim time change. But it kind of worked. Okay, front file. I just want to commit that. And uh, this is actually kind of a rewrite from that. Uh, unit and effect placements are done in sim time instead of adjusted UI time. Uh, so, that, so that is, hmm. I make money writing code. I'm not a developer of PA. I just at one time was one of the most prolific modders. And this is some stuff we're planning to use for the upcoming Able Gamers tournament. Mod info. So this one is not a modified ID. Version states to change, date updated. Yeah, now, if you play around with the Chrono Cam while this is going on, you're kind of at your own peril. Uh, so we might see 
how that goes before I actually do a public release, which I guess will change the date even. But that was one of the main things I wanted to do. Uh, and do I have something with you? Did I get? No, I didn't even get anything from that event. I think I might try the computer. I just have to remember where. Perhaps there. 2018. And it opened up here. I think. All right, so a little. Side uh, line here. Uh, so we're not doing sim time anymore. Uh, this is simple data update. Uh, this is, I need specifically to get the, well, data updates. Data updates. All right, so I think we're, I hope we're done with you. Uh, your donation config, I need keys, I need client mods. Do you have you here? This is gonna be a data thing. This is going to be my server. And we want to set that up as one, either one of or the sample data source. Uh, feeds. Uh, so we just called it local. We have one test sequence. Can I do anything similar in it, other one. You just have well, actually, the feeds list would probably. No, I don't normally have like different years. So we might just do something like this. All right, data, that's what to look at it. Now, I don't actually remember these super well. Just be able to look at it and say, yeah, that's right there, that's not. Well, I should probably, turn. if I turned on lead gen, then I would, 
think that was the first year. Well, it was, it's a bunch of codes. Let's see if, if I just see the unit names, we should be able to see if it's updated. Uh, right, because I had to set for finals. Yeah, Necromancer, that's a, that's a Legion unit. So that looks updated. Other thing I need to do... Uh, yeah, that's... Uh, Egorel's going to have to change. And I think... This is probably something I only change for development. Nation config. Local is the data. Live. No, that's fine. Cars. Oh, actually, this is the one we need to change. Really? Nope. Nope. Because that's our live connect. And once again, we have an option to go local if I'm doing development on that, which we may have to do. We, we, there should probably be some touch ups on that. Probably not a thing to tackle today. I might, I might want to just like focus on that application. And I spotted a bug in another mod. But I wanted to get the data updates to this done. In case we need to. Uh, Pass it around to people. Not that there's really been any changes, but uh, G build. Three. Um. Are we doing this? Yeah, there's the website. Right. And that's still pretty much. All right, mods. Uh, uh, client mods. Donation. Okay, you're gay. Yeah. Uh, I suppose we should load. Well, we, we loaded up the other one. I guess it won't actually be executing that code. Now, there's not going to be a any feed on the other one. There might, there might actually be just plain nothing there. Uh, it's live. Might need to reload. And that will actually be happening in the other panel, I think. Yeah, I'm not surprised that there's nothing there. I haven't done, done anything yet. Uh, but where is... Okay, no actual errors. I'm not entirely sure errors will get propagated there.
Okay. Uh, donation. Table. I think we're, right, we're good with that one off. Now, I want to do the code update on that. And then we had all oh, problem. Where at some point, this page lost its scroll. And there's a lot more stuff. I think, yeah, GUI size is already, already at its smallest. Let's see. And have that one locally. I don't think so. Uh, we're also going to be doing something else now. Yep. <laughs> Clicked on something there. Uh, keyboard. Well, maybe it's keyboard. No, we're still a key. Nothing, nothing there. We should probably be reusing some of this stuff. That server mod dev. We're gonna have to be in here at first. Oh, we have to go into. And then we have to hack the ID because community mods doesn't like local mods. Board viewer. Not dev. That one will almost certainly need a URL update. Yeah, okay, so definitely nothing different there. I don't know if I want to go hunting for what actually changed here. Uh, there should be a particular div that just needs a needs a scroll here. Uh, keyboard viewer. We do have a CSS file. Where are we going to need this? Section content. Section wrapper, container settings. 
Okay, so that's all the tabs. Where did he wear help? Oh, there used to be a little thing off to the side here, and maybe there would be if... Oh. Yeah, I used to have a little sidebar here, too. But it appears to have gotten buried. Oh, they, um... They did a width constraint here as well. Which, actually, we've got some dead space here. This might just be some, some like, sort of minor adjustments in in stuff. So you need to have you need to be doing some adjustments here. I'm not even sure that this thing is able to load styles. <laughs> yeah, the debugger seems to have rotted a little bit here. Not getting any style information. Which is going to make things a lot harder on us. Okay, so you have a color, you have a width. Let's just try making it a little bit smaller. Yeah, that's not enough. Yeah. Well, we can get metrics. <laughs> Can't get any style information. Yeah, you're 200, so apparently... That means I can't apply styles either. Yeah. That's keyboards. Just to see if it's actually doing something. <laughs> okay, that did something. Uh, we still can't see our help. And it feels like this is actually containing our other div, which it, structurally it didn't look like it was. Okay, so your keyboard viewer, you're the dialog, you're the help. And when we went through here, it looked like there was not a structural error where one of these was actually containing the other. They're just both stuck here for some reason. Uh, now maybe I was used to be relying on some parent level styles that were like doing floats or something. And now I have to apply that myself. Wait, I removed this from here, apparently. Wait, did it? Well, I can reset that if I need to. That's a color. Uh, there's, there's the, there's the one that's too. Uh.
Uh, no, 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 that doesn't do it. Like, there should be plenty of space here. Maybe I need to establish a parent container. That's keyboard viewer. Uh, what is that? Position relative means it it counts, but don't actually move it without actually applying that. No, that's not sufficient. I'm just gonna inspect the styles here because this is bonkers. They're getting forced into the same container. Well, I guess a little closer. But I'm actually going to have to dig through all the CSS files to know what the heck's going on here. Why are you wrapping so tight? Do I have to give you an explicitly wider width? Is that something we were counting on? What the heck? Maybe I'm getting overridden by a different by a more specific rule. Which would be a lot easier to see if the debugger was working. So what we're going to want to look at, and I close this down, is the actual styles for the base game. See if we can figure out what the heck is happening on the settings page. All right, so a body panel, a section content, a body panel section content. I guess we'd be really looking for like container with auto, main wrapper with auto, main content form group, container centered. Oh, we've actually got some flux box growing on here. Interesting. Slider, slider, he binds, option list. Uh, float, nav pills, one key bind, keyboard conflict message, not much. Okay, so we've got a bunch of display flex stuff, slider display block. So probably we have to, we've been put into flex mode, which kind of disables float and stuff. Which, I mean, flex box is cool. I just 
it's it's one of those things I don't. There are there's gonna be things I don't support it. I often don't. Well, I don't know. Sometimes I don't care. Sometimes I do. Uh, we've got UL is display flex. Container settings is display flex. So we probably have to assume that we're Flexbox. Uh, so all the float stuff is not going to work. Uh, keyboard viewer, essentially, is we need to specify the right orientation for it. Flex direction? Row is left to right. So keyboard viewer. Oh, flex direct. Uh, or, or, okay, my, my, so my CSS syntax is old. That's all that is. I should probably update that sometime. Uh, and I should probably just reinforce that, um, display flex. Yes. And then I'm probably going to have to, all right, so then keyboards, we shouldn't really need that. And I may have to go back and, mm, yeah. Make it small again to make sure there's space. This is where I need the style view to see if it's being overridden somewhere. Uh, let's add some extra specificity. Okay, so that is keyboard viewer. It is in a bunch of like container settings, section wrapper. Your section wrapper. Okay, yes, we, I don't know how much specificity we needed there, uh, but somebody was nuking our properties. And that, uh, okay, so now we need, now we need to add scroll back. Uh, is that over? Flow Y roll. Yes. Well, okay. We've got a couple of buttons that we've placed weird, apparently. <laughs> what is up with you guys? Maybe I did some explicit placements with those. Tall, position absolute. Uh, so this is where we have to respecify re our container. So you want to be in keyboards, which is scrolling.
There we go. And while we're here. Well, I mean, it might need to. Okay, it still looks fine at, at, at that. Hmm. I never did document the color code here. Uh, it might be in the README. Uh, I think I think these are for like special modes. Yeah. Hmm. Terrain set, shift control, meta meta. Huh. They don't get highlighted in some things. Maybe I only apply those where they're an issue. Oh, no, wait. Control and control, alt and alt. So basically, these are keys that are assumed pressed in this mode. Okay. That should be fine. So this is definitely a build update. Uh, what was it? Right where I want it. 739, <laughs> This is essentially a bug fix, kind of a big layout change. But... Uh... Excel, uh, Excel help sidebar layout. Um, or critical curling boards. Uh, speaking of mod info tags. Yeah, the original advice was to use this for anything that was at least compatible with it, which... Don't worry about that later, if, it, if it's an issue. All right, ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Uh, 
Mm. Almost gets me every time. Uh, oh, I just plain changed that while I was trying to debug stuff. I know, your, your PA. Reviewer help. Oh, I, was, I was trying to make it smaller. Make sure it would fit if that was an issue. Okay, it seems to fit. All right, and then that is probably a pretty good point to break. All right, I am done programming for now. <clears throat> If you are here for programming or PA stuff, thanks for hanging out. Uh, if you just want to hang out, I am going to be coming back to do a little bit of uh, Step Mania on the dance pad. But I know that's pretty dumb. So uh, either bye or see you in a few minutes. I am going to break stream for a little bit. Uh, it changed some bitrate settings. Uh, then I'll be back. I'll have a few minutes to set up the pads. <clears throat> Next week, uh, I may be working on uh, some of the donation website stuff a little bit. It's a little, little bit more tangential to PA, but sort of related. Uh, I'm also having oral surgery on Wednesday. They said take time off work but have something to do, so I might either not feel good enough to stream, or I might just want to kind of play some games and hang out with not much talking at irregular times. So next week may be unusual. But yeah, if you want to hang out, I'll be back in a few minutes. And uh, bye.